We got a bunch of updates regarding the new CPUs from AMD, some updates regarding Intel's new CPUs, some hardware updates for AMD's CPUs, and a bunch of stuff. Now, I want to do a quick overview of everything that you're seeing on screen right now before I begin my typical rambling. It's all pretty much linked together, so it's not going to take that long for me to explain to you. So the first thing that I wanted to cover is AMD releasing their 9800X 3D. Now, a really long time ago, as in three hours ago, everybody was posting on the internet, AMD is about to announce their CPUs for the whatever, or about to announce the 9800X 3D. It is now three hours later at 10 p.m. at nighttime, and I think I can pretty safely confirm AMD is not dumb enough to announce their flagship gaming CPU when it's almost the middle of the night, even though you and me are probably awake and just barely woke up a few hours ago. So anyways, the uh, updates regarding this CPU are... Of course, it's saying that it's going to be a little bit faster than the 7800X 3D, but keep in mind everything is leaks now and again, a really long time ago, as in probably 12 hours ago, everybody was saying the CPU was going to be running at 4.7 gigahertz. Then all of a sudden, boom, here we go again. New article saying that the CPU is going to be running at 5.6 gigahertz, but you got to keep in mind that this is because of this from what I am understanding. So Gigabyte is going to like become the next like quintillionaire as far as like AMD side of stuff goes because if they're the only ones that are offering this X3D turbo mode that increases the CPU by 35%, like that's not just like a little laughable feature. And the cool thing about this is that it's not just some sort of overclocking thing. It's basically artificial intelligence. So for, if, for those of you that don't believe me and want to read everything for yourself. So basically what this is covering is it's, it's kind of like AI is reading your computer in real time. Like it's reading your memory, your CPU, your SSD, whatever. Everything that's going to your motherboard. And then Gigabyte's like AI built into it is like reading that stuff. And it's adjusting the CPU to perform... Are you ready for it? Up to 35% faster. Or in other words, you're going to get about a 2% performance boost 99.9999% of the time. And then 0.0001% of the time, it's going to boost up to 35%. And we're going to claim in our marketing ad that it's 35%. You know, just as well as I know it, that's what's going to happen. So either way, if you guys really want to see this score, it's... Like, I'm just being real with you. This is, yeah, you can go ahead and think it's real if you, if you honestly believe every single thing that your eyeballs are visually seeing, then, uh, but I'm just being honest. This is bull crap. It's, it's fake. There's no way. Zero percent, zero percent chance that it's right. So anyways, here you go. There's 9,800X3 way down here, like an absolute potato. No idea why that's whatever maybe that's accurate just kidding relax there everybody on amd's whatever bench stool if you know what i'm saying so unlocked intel core ultra 9285k approaches 370 watts power draw during uh cinebench test N cinebench test definitely that is what i meant to say so here's your multi-core power draw and all of that kind of stuff you got to keep in mind that intel is kind of doing the same thing as amd and they're attempting to reduce the amount of power going to to their cpus which isn't a bad deal this is definitely at least from my point of view it's going to increase the perspective so like i'm at because i'm being serious dude I i'm so sick of the i9 1400k like i we're do, literally doing a, a 9950x build with the new asus x870 unfortunately amd still sucks when it comes down to the wireless motherboards like that i really do this is such a cool motherboard it really is uh but anyways let's come back over here and we'll go to zotac debunking the alleged rtx 5090 video so this is definitely an update because like an hour ago before i went for my walk so i didn't like make a video and look like i just barely woke up this was not this so yeah Where's the update? You're really going to make me 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess over the last two days, you've noticed inaccurate speculation circulating around a new graphics card manufactured by Zodiac. We wish to seize this opportunity to provide clarifications. No, 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 no. The video has gone viral online, pertains to an internal training recording of a trial production for an hour facility in Indonesia, intended to test the performance of brief state. Oh my God, really? I should have just read the first paragraph. All right, so made in the video, turns on the company. No, no, no. Okay, well, so what the fuck is the update? Is this the update right here in fucking language that I don't even know? I'm going to go ahead and move on, whatever. Zotac apparently debunks this, but doesn't tell us unless this is, unless I just don't understand the word debunk and contrary to the video description. I guess I'm just an absolute idiot. So this right here, NVIDIA Blackwell AI GPU issues hurt relations with TSMC, RTX 50 GPUs, nearly made by Samsung. So this is basically covering that, okay. I'm, please keep in mind that NVIDIA is not stupid. They're, really, would you like to get out of here with your advertisement? They're not dumb. What they're doing is they're... Again, I'm, I guess I'm putting my tinfoil hat on if you like actually think I'm wrong. But what they're doing here is they're informing everybody of how there's a shortage of their chip. Which there could be. I'm not saying there's not. There could be a shortage of chips. But what, what happened with the 40 series? Um, just let that sink into you. What happened with the 40 series? Why were they so expensive? Why were they so hard to get? Because of the chip shortage. So, NVIDIA, zero competition now. As in, Intel couldn't even compete with AMD, let alone competing with NVIDIA. And AMD can't compete with NVIDIA either. And look, to the 12% of people that actually buy AMD graphics cards and make it known to the entire universe that they bought AMD and then the other 88% of people that have an NVIDIA graphics card just don't give a crap about making their voice heard to the entire universe. Look, I get that 12% of you have an AMD graphics card and you want to tell everybody how incredibly awesome and amazing it is. That is so awesome for you. I'm so happy for you that you have an AMD graphics card that is working so well. It's just that 88% of the other people on the planet are just so dumb and buy NVIDIA for no reason whatsoever. It's almost like AMD is just like, hey, let me give you a free game with your graphics card so that you can tell everybody how amazing our graphics card is. Dude, if I got a free game, I'm, not, I'm gonna go ahead and shut my mouth. My point in saying that, dude, is like, it's just ridiculous how loud and obnoxious. <laughs> okay? But anyway. Because <laughs> you say anything mean about NVIDIA or Intel, nobody cares, bro. You say one little teeny tiny negative thing about AMD and oh god, you are starting a war. Alright? So, look. I understand it. 12% of the people on this planet have an, an AMD graphics card. What this is right here is NVIDIA is telling everybody there's going to be a chip shortage and this and that and this and that. And you can go ahead and read the article if you really want to. Okay. But I'm just being honest with you. That's a marketing. It, again, tinfoil hat is on. I can't confirm this. Okay. But it's just NVIDIA is not stupid. The government's not stupid. Big businesses, companies, monopolies, dude, they're not dumb. What they do is they play with your emotions. They play the long game. They're not like, oh, hey, our graphics card are releasing tomorrow. So now let's start a story today. So that, whatever. Dude, no, they think like months and months and months in advance. Kind of like money. You know what I mean? It's the biggest Ponzi scheme that will probably ever exist okay <laughs> it's just dude yeah right, like, right, i'm not i'm not we'll go down a serious rabbit hole if i uh talk, if i start talking about money it's a fucking it's a ponzi scheme <laughs> not run by our by let's just like run by mostly by america's government they've gotten pretty good at it which is why we're the wealthiest company or country but there's like 9 billion people on our planet and a hundred of them control everybody. Let that sink in for a moment, bro. Like, come on. All right. So, so if we come down here, this is just all of the specs for those of you that may not have seen any of the videos on the 5090, 5080, 5070, 
and 5060 plus the 5060 ti 57 ti pretty sure that's all we've had so that's the 4090 versus 5090 we get the 4080 versus the 5080 and then we get the 4070 versus the 5070 keep in mind this is all rumors and speculation at this point and if we're real the majority of rumors and speculations are just guessing so um actually i guess this would kind of relate to this channel as well i'm gonna keep the rest of this stuff for the for the gaming channel but this is pretty cool man like i really hope that companies start doing this dude i'd be down for it i'd be down for what dude for a 4k super nintendo freaking remake but the thing is dude is like we're getting to, i grew up with the super nintendo it's the sega genesis i kind of played the nes i actually won an nes at my family reunion with like 70 games sick uh that was actually my entrance into entrepreneurship too i sold the games um really oh so so because of like super nintendo games nes games sega genesis game like they're starting to not work like you can't just blow out the dust from the cartridge and have them work now and yes dude look i get it emulation is awesome and i like to emulate older stuff as well but there's something about having the console and having the cartridge and you, there's something there's just something about i'm sure even like people that play games now i'm sure that there's something about the ps5 that you enjoy more than your computer even though i'm on board with everybody that thinks pc gaming is better there's something about having a ps5 if you actually want to give your money to sony at this point for some stupid reason um i'm just using that as an example and then the switch emulation scene dude it's really hard for me to give my voice my own opinion on this because while i don't think that a new modern console should be emulated the switch wasn't 4k and we're in a 4k era okay so if the nintendo switch was playing games at 4k 60 frames per second like the ps5 the xbox pc and all these other platforms offer for everybody then that would be a no-brainer like answer to me they're just be like dude there's no need to emulate switch all people are doing is pirating games period that is just a fact and if that's what you do man i don't it's not, i don't care i really don't care dude because i do it with the super nintendo games i do it with sega genesis games i have the full library of all of those consoles but the thing is dude it's like i have the full library of all those consoles one is because i'm not paying ebay and taking a chance of it either either being a replica or it just not working and to be fair a ten dollar a game that should be ten dollars now is like a hundred dollars and look dude i'm not gonna i'm not gonna play that game so yes i i am but the thing is dude is like you like you it's not the current console being sold is is my point so what i'm getting to is dude i 1 million percent would support people if like if they offered something like this analog for man i can't believe i just got so i swear to god i got so, all right well see this is why i wanted to keep the rest of the stuff for my gaming channel but it, so my point being is like if we started getting new nintendo 64 cartridges to run on this little this console right here i 1000 percent would support that now i i'm fully aware that there is a uh, a company doing this i want to i want to say it's flashback i forget the name of the company there, there is a company that's kind that's doing this but it's super indie and it's super niche to down is the only way that i can think to explain it it's not what we need is like we need like nintendo to get on board with this like we need nintendo to market a new super nintendo or sony to which is actually pretty it's actually another thing that i wanted to talk about steve jobs was actually supporting a ps so i'm gonna i'm not gonna shut up if i don't end the video let me know what you guys think about all this stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace